Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm one of the two librarians for the Fresno County Public Library. I'm here to welcome you to our Summer at Your Library digital programs. Before we begin, I wanted to take this moment and encourage you to check out our summer webpage at fresnolibrary.org forward slash summer. You will find more information on all the wonderful things our library has to offer you this summer, like more fun programs for kids, teens, and adults, take and make crafts for teens, and even a reading program for all ages. And you can win prizes. So make sure you don't miss out on all the fun this summer and visit fresnolibrary.org forward slash summer and enjoy the show. Good morning, everyone. My name is Erica Brown. And I'm Raquel Ramirez. And we are real specialists here at RICV. And we are part of the Work Readiness Program. Today, we're going to go ahead and present two recipes that we have demonstrated in the past in our cooking independence class, which is every Tuesday, second Tuesday, and fourth Tuesday each month. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and show you a little bit of our kitchen. Let me reverse this. So here is our RICV kitchen sponsored by Blue Cross. We have here our oven with a vent, microwave. We'll present some assistive tools we have, our fridge. And here is our logo right here. As you can see, we have a beautiful view of our main street shields. And so today, we'll start over here. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my recipe. I found this in a cookbook actually. I'm gonna do a keto version of zucchini bread. So my ingredients, there's eggs, almond flour, um, a sweetener substitute, salt, um, it asked for oat fiber, but I didn't have any, so I ground it up some rolled oats. Baking soda, baking powder, ginger, cinnamon, butter, some zucchini, and I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon zest just to give it a little bit more flavor. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead, let me get my hair out of the way. We're gonna wash our hands for 20 seconds. And we always demonstrate this in the beginning of our class because we want to show them that this is an important task to do every time you touch something new. So you just need to make it lukewarm water and just getting between your fingers. Get a little bit more soap. I just want to make sure I'm lathering it really well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my dry ingredients first. So I'm gonna start off with a cup and a half of almond flour. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put in one fourth cup of the ground oatmeal, oat fiber technically. Then I'm going to put a half teaspoon, there we go, half teaspoon of baking powder, Baking soda, and then I'm just going to work my way to doing half teaspoon for the cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. And um, you can really smell the ginger, which is really good with the cinnamon and the nutmeg too. I'm gonna put in a little more because I kind of like the flavor of ginger. Kind of reminds me of making gingerbread cookies. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to do a half teaspoon of salt, just regular salt. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and just mix that up. Just make sure it's kind of in there evenly. The baking soda, sometimes it comes in little chunks, but you just need to make sure that it's in there completely. All right, so that's in there completely. The cinnamon and the ginger smell great. So I got my wet ingredients. Now I'm gonna do my, sorry, dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna do my wet. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a half a stick of butter. Out, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I kind of pop this stuff in the microwave, so it's just a little bit messy. Okay. So real quick, I'm just gonna wash my hands again because I got a little bit of the butter on here. So if you're not wearing any like plastic gloves, you always want to make sure you're washing your hands. And if you are wearing gloves, if you touch anything, you want to change them because we don't want cross contamination. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, I got my butter. I'm gonna do three eggs, three large eggs. One. Two. Three. I'm gonna go ahead and discard those. And now I'm going to add my sugar substitute, and that's going to be a half cup. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that together real quick. You are gonna work your arm, by the way. We do have a hand mixture, but today it didn't feel like working. So I gotta put in my work. All right, so that's mixed in evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead, put this aside. I'm going to go ahead and grate some zucchini. So I'm just gonna use a regular cheese grater. And I'm gonna rinse my zucchini. We wanna get one cup of this. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the end piece off and discard that. And then I'm just gonna shred it. And you don't have to um, 
you don't have to drain that like the moisture or juice out of the zucchini because the almond flour is not the same as regular flour. And this is gonna help the zucchini bread get moist once it absorbs this water from the zucchini. Just be careful when you're grating it. So I got most of it off. Um, for our consumers, we teach them that if they're afraid of anything sharp or anything hot, there's always a substitution for that. Like for example, if they ever wanna cut something but they're afraid they're gonna cut themselves, there are plugs that are metal and block the knife from actually cutting your fingers. Um, with heat, instead of using heat, you can use maybe Instead of an oven, excuse me, you can maybe use an air fryer or a microwave. That way you don't feel like it's too dangerous for you to cook on your own. So I think that's about a cup, maybe a little bit more. So we might not need to use that much. So now what I'm going to do, I think, just double checking, I have all my ingredients. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour. That doesn't seem like enough for me. There we go. Make sure that's all mixed up. Gotta just double check. See a little bit of the baking soda still. Okay, so now, I'm going to go ahead and put that cup. I probably don't need that much of what I shredded already. I'm gonna mix that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the whisk to mix all of this evenly. And also the water from the zucchini is actually helping mixing this batter. And then I think now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little lemon zest, not too much. Cause I just feel like lemon and ginger would go so well. So not that much, I just got the top of the lemon. I can kind of smell it too, because it's fresh. All right, now I'm gonna mix that in. Make sure it's evenly mixed. So there's our batter, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my loaf pan. And I've already greased it up with this pan, it's baking pan. And the reason why I like this is because it kind of smells sweet. So you don't have necessarily that olive oil taste, but you can use olive oil. It's fine. I just like this because it smells really good. It's, it smells really good like you're baking a cake with it. Okay. So, just going to deposit this in here. And this is a nine by five loaf pan. If you have smaller ones that you have at your house, you can go ahead and use those and you probably have double the, um, the batter for that. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure it's evenly set in there. Clean it soft a bit. And so I have the oven preheated to 350 
and we're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes and check on it um, like probably three minutes before the time just to see if it's cooking good. And if it doesn't seem like it's a nice golden brown, then you want to cook it a little bit longer in your oven. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and then I'm going to have Raquel demonstrate her recipe. Go ahead and hit pause. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate now my part. I'm gonna be doing the keto um, egg muffins. But before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. And like Erica mentioned before, we do this before we start cooking, just to make sure we don't want to get any germs in the food. And then for mine, I also have the oven preset to 350. I already washed all my vegetables, but that's where we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So remember, guys, when we're using a knife, we always want to be safe. And when we cut, we're going to go ahead and close our fists so that way our knuckles don't come out. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop off the stem of all the broccoli first. Probably too much broccoli, but it's okay. And then we're going to go ahead and just cut off the little, the little trees, I like to call them. And that actually should be enough, so I'm going to go ahead and put those to the side. And then these ones, you want to just go ahead and dust dice them up, but just a little bit smaller. Sorry if I make funny faces, I just noticed that <laughs> I had my tongue out there. My concentrating face. Setting those up. And then we're going to go ahead and put them back on the board. So we get all our veggies together. I'm just going to rinse this off really quick. So we're going to go ahead and start, let's see, I'm going to do the bell pepper. We have a green one and a red one. So I'm going to go ahead and slice off a piece of both. And we're going to slice the bell pepper into thin slices. And then we're going to go ahead and dice them. This is not my favorite knife. <laughs> There's other knives on the. Um... Yeah, go ahead and search it out. Thank you for the green one. I'll go ahead and dice it. All right, so we have our bell pepper. I'm going to go ahead and just put it back in the pan. We have all our veggies together. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my mushrooms. 
some of them are my favorites. I can eat raw mushrooms all by themselves. Same thing to go ahead and thinly slice them. All done with the mushroom. I'm going to put it back. Just a little bit for it. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and cut up a little bit of cilantro. This one you have to be really careful for just because it's smaller. And then we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to kind of slice vertically and then horizontally. I think I said that right. Mm -hmm. And then, too, if you don't feel too comfortable doing the cilantro, just because it's a little bit smaller, you can always tear it. It's really easy to tear, but that's another way you can do it, too. All right, so this is open. I'm going to go ahead and put it back. All right, so we have all of our veggies vegetables cut up. Let me go ahead and get this on the side. Our regular eggs, I'm actually going to do two sets. I'm going to do egg whites and egg yolk. So we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and do six eggs. The recipe calls for 12. So we're going to go do six for now. So I'm just going to pack them into this bowl. And because I have a, a smaller tin, I think three might actually be enough. So, um, let me just do three for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and just wash my hands really quick. Because I got some egg on me. All right. So we have our eggs here. We're going to go ahead and add... Um, half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're going to do garlic powder. And then we're going to do some paprika. Oh, can't fit it in. So I'm just going to pour it out. There we go. All right, so we have that all in there. We're going to just whisk it all together. I'm just making sure all the seasonings are not clumped up. All the egg yolk is separated. And then for this one, so since I have I have a six six tin um, cupcake pan, so for this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and do hmm, let's do the bell peppers in this one. Good. All right, so we're just gonna go in and whisk that all up, like so. And then so here is my tin. Like I said, I have a six um, cupcake tin. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bottom with some olive oil. so they don't stick. All right, all done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill up each um, cupcake holder half ways with the yolk. So there's that one. And then that one. 
Three eggs was just perfect. Let's go ahead and empty out whatever I have left in the other ones. I'm gonna put that aside. And then so we're gonna go ahead and just throw in our veggies. Kind of mix it up, do whatever you want. Different flavors. We want to, one with just green. You know, maybe we can just throw some broccoli in there too. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some cheese. That's colorful. I like it. All right. So we have those ones set. We're gonna go ahead now and do the egg whites. Um, so for the egg whites, I actually have meat. I'm gonna go ahead and put them, I'm just gonna top this bowl really quick. Cause I got some egg yolk in it. Not that it matters, I'm gonna put more egg yolk in it, but. All right, so I'm gonna set these just to the side for now. And then I have the egg whites, the liquid gonna go ahead and pour this in. This one right here, I kind of have to guesstimate. Let's go ahead and do half a cup. This is half a cup, sure. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use half a cup of egg whites. Go ahead and pour that in. And then for this one, we're gonna do a meat style. So I bought the Jimmy Beans um, sausage. These ones are already um, cooked. So all we have to do is toss them in, makes it easier for all of us. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use two of the sausages. And then we're just gonna go ahead and cut them, slice them up so we can put them in with the eggs. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just add these to the rest of our toppings here. And then get this out of the way. And then I'm gonna wash my hands since I was playing with me. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add the same seasonings to our egg whites. Okay. So the onion powder, a teaspoon, uh, garlic powder, and then paprika. I always forget that I can't put that in there. All right, so we have that in. We're gonna go ahead and whisk that in. This one, you don't really have to worry too much about the yolk because there is no yolk, but just more so just getting all the seasonings blended in. And then since we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the sink. And then we're gonna go ahead and distribute the egg yolks on the bottom, same way as we did egg whites, sorry. Just like we did egg yolks. So the same way. All right. A little bit left over, everyone gets some more. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add, let's do some mushroom. This one, we'll probably put some broccoli as well. And then we'll go ahead and use the meat. And this one, maybe some cilantro. It's really too much. And then we can put some in here. Let's throw some in the too. Sure, why not? Like I said, it's just whatever you guys feel, whatever you guys want to eat. It's the cool thing about these ones is you can kind of just do it however you want. It's almost like an omelet. What is omelet? So, <laughs> there you go. Oh, Mini omelets. All right. And then so we're going to go ahead and throw some cheese on top of this one as well. And then... We're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. Like I said, our, our timer, our oven was set for 350 and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven for 12 to 16 minutes. Hey guys, we're back. So we finished our both of our recipes. And so here's how 
my zucchini bread came out and it, like I said, it's almond flour. So you can use that as a substitute of flour if you are not allowed to have any flour, okay? So you can see a little bit of the zucchini. I can still smell the ginger and the lemon. And so it didn't take really no time at all. And then go ahead, Rachel. And then here are mine. I went ahead and topped mine off with a little bit of cheese. You can add some sour cream if you want. If you want some salsa, you can add that too. Um, but here is my egg keto muffins. <laughs> They're just healthy. <laughs> so that wraps it up for us. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to show what we do here. Have a good day, you guys.